Okay, in this example, I'm going to align a model that was scanned in a way that does not require using the GeoMagic. I'm going to work with the tool that I've scanned before. Okay, as you can see, initially the scan does not line up the way we expect. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract a couple of surfaces from here to begin understanding some known planes that we can align to. At a glance, I see two flat surfaces that I can utilize for this purpose. So I'm going to go up to Mesh Modeling and select surface from mesh. I found that when I pick individual facets, I get a better result. I have a surface. Okay, there's my first surface. My second surface I'm going to pick is the other side. I'm going to surface from mesh and I'm going to pick a few facets from the front of this face. I'm going to select and going to accept it. And there we go. I have two faces defined based on the raw mesh. Okay. Next I'm going to create a plane based on these two. First reference. I guess I can click it like that. The second one I can click like this. That gives me a, a plane right down the middle. And I can click OK. Okay. So now I have a plane that effectively reflects the center of the part based on these two surfaces. It's relatively correct, as you can see goes through the center. Now I'm going to utilize some known geometry. I'm going to create a sketch on this surface. I'm going to think about putting the new origin right here in the center between these two end caps. So on the plane that I created, I'm going to create a couple of sketch lines. start here in the middle go up this way try to get it on the end same thing I'm going to move this point down here because I'm looking for the edge okay and you need to fixate the line that you draw okay Next, I'm going to create an additional line that represents the center point, the midpoint, and draw that line perpendicular, thusly. So at this point, I'm looking at my x-axis running across here, my y-axis across from here, and my origin point here in the center. Okay. Go to Features, and go to Reference Geometry. Whoops, we've got to exit out of this. Okay. Oh, also, back into this sketch, you've got to set that point as fixed. This line, rather. Set the line as fixed. Okay. Now I'm going to create Features. Features, Reference Geometry coordinate system. 
Okay. The position of my new origin is going to be here in that spot. My x-axis are going to be reflected in this line and my y-axis in this line. Okay. X, Y. I click OK. I've now created a coordinate system for the model based on plane I extracted from the center and the perpendicular lines that I drew along this known edge through the center of the part. What you have to do now is you have to export this as an STL file. Export as. You select STL and you go to Options. This is important. This is where you decide. You define that the output coordinate system that this model is going to adhere to is your created coordinate system 1. You give it a new name. You can call it Defined. And Export. I already have that file. It tells you there's a number of triangles and do you want to save it? Yes. Okay, at this point you can close down this model you're working on and you can reopen uh, the one you just saved. And now your part will be aligned to the axis system that you created. after doing your extractions.